Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to some Yag Tiger gameplay. Yes, we finally get this beast on the channel. It's a rank 5 vehicle, better run at 7.0. And is it as good as you think it's going to be? Yes and no. I mean, I've had this TD a while and uh, played a few matches with it. I haven't played a lot with it, to tell you the truth, because it gets a bit tedious. Can It can get a bit tedious. It's got a lovely gun. It has armed with 128mm pack 44 cannon with 40 rounds. And then you get the second ammunition choice. Getting it less bouncy. And of course, get them one shot kills. So, here we are, the first match here on Normandy. Now, of course, this tank is a big, big tank. It's 75.2 tons. So that makes it slow. Apparently, the max speed is 42 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I've never seen that yet. Might drop out of a plane. Might do. Doubt it. But there you go. We've got a first target on top there. He's backed out. And don't forget this gun moves very slowly as well. Torrent traverse speed, or the gun traverse speed. Oh, just missed you. Is there about 4.7 degrees a second? So, this is basically a sniping tank. You don't want to be uh, uh, brawling with this. Hello, T92. No, quite, not quite. The reload. Yeah, at the minute I've got it at 19.3 seconds reload time. But the gun is great. Get this tank from the front. It's a beast. I mean, the hull armour to the front is 150. 80 to the side and 80 to the rear. Nice. T92 taken out. Nice. There you go. Finish him off with the fire. The front slope, you'll see there, the upper, the, upper, the upper glacier sort of thing. When it's sloped from the front, it's 215 millimetres of armour. The lower glacier is 175 from the front. So, the lower glacier is your weak point. It's actually 100 mil standard thickness, but it's sloped, so it's 175. So, keep that covered as your weak point to the front. Also, your machine gun port can get hit. There we go, nice to have you as well. Note how I push myself in front of my teammate there to protect him. Worked out quite nicely. Saved him. Get the kill with the M48. Right. So the turret armour, the upper glaciers, or the upper where the gun is landed, that is 250mm thick to the front. 80 to the side and rear. Of course, when this tank gets flanked and spanked, you get definitely get spanked. This tank was right, it has to be with someone normally. If you're a good sniping spot, you're alright. If you're trying to push into a town or something like that, or trying to move on to a cat point, try and go with some friends. Because if you get around the side of you, you're pretty much toast to the roof. If they, well, you can't turn quick enough, your traverse speed isn't quick enough to turn with the tank, a medium tank. If they get to the side of you, they'll have a rack you, one shot you, or just kick your crew off. Yeah, it's not, it's not pretty. So, do I like this? I do like this. It's a lot of fun. If you want to go in there very slowly and just smash people in the face, then it's fun. Is there a guy there? I don't think there was. They're on the A point. They've got the A point though, so we are going to go right round. Hopefully, pick someone else off. Hello. There we go. That's on that. Nice. Oh. M42, hold break on him, just catch him right in the rear. Took his head straight off, lovely. Yes, yeah, so as I say, this is a great fun tank, but it is slow. Too many matches makes you a dull boy, I'm afraid. You tend to find that you get two to three kills per match. We move on here to go to the A zone. We're going to start capturing this back. And of course, we've got a bit of grass in the front, but it makes not a lot of difference because it's such a big bugger. Yes. And be warned, if you play this tank, you will be prioritised. Everyone goes for you. Everyone's scared of this thing because of the big gun on it. And it's hard to take from the front. So, if a plane sees you, they'll bomb you. If another tank sees you, it will kill you as quickly as possible. You'll get singled out every time. So don't feel bad if you die quite a lot in it. 
when I've been taking up oh, I6s, that's the bane of this tank, the I6, because they can take you out from the front, but you can't take them out very easily from the front. I have done a couple of times. Got some nice kills, especially from the side. You put it in the turret and everything else. And, uh, yeah. Doesn't work out too great for them. Right, to get to the end of this match, and we see the spy little guy there trying to hide up in the beach. There you go. See him? He's hiding away over there. Pretend to be a wreck, but he's not. So he sees us, though. M26 Persian, I think. Straight for the front of him. T25, sorry. There you go. Get four kills in this match. Quite happy with that. Quite a rarity. Normally get two to three kills, like I say. Mainly because the tank's so slow. And then, uh, uh, there we go. Finish the match. Seventh place. Four kills. Bloody hell. Yeah, but the tank's so blimmin' slow that you're chasing the match the whole time. A quick little bit here on Poland. Just to demonstrate. T29 to the front. Straight for the flow of glaciers. Take you straight out. This gun is very powerful. And the T29 is not an easy tank to take out. This thing has wiped it. And this is with the, the first ammo you get. See that chap there? Yeah. Hello. Nice. Finish him off for a double. And that other chap hasn't actually seen us at all. We quite won this wall. Push the bricks down, come on, reload. Get that reload, come on. Come on. We hit him. We wipe him. He's not dead, but He's pretty much out of the game, and he? he's on fire. Everything's dead in him. Engine's toast. One good thing about this shell, when it hits and it penetrates, it just... If it doesn't kill it, it cripples it. Come on. Get the kill. Get the kill for the triple. Nice. Three kills. No triple. Good. Never mind. But we are, you know, we are uh, reloading quite nicely here. And uh, we're getting all our shells back. So four shells, three kills. That works. And oh look at that, we've got all our shells back already. <laughs> right. Here we are. Oh I'm gonna put it in there. Not the Rhine. Uh Kursk. There you go, Kursk. Just to show you that you don't need any range finding stuff on this thing. One shot. Just tracking the guy along. We know about where he's gonna be. The centurion's not I mean slow. And just a touch and fire straight for the side lovely shot fe4202 and we get a sniper for that one rest of the game is crap so hope we have one good shot in it <laughs> so here we have the main game now this is where sniping comes in useful you might not agree but yeah, this is a sniping tank. You have the armour to sit at distance and just take a beating. You can bounce a lot. And the gun is pretty accurate. Slow to reload, slow to get on target, but at distance doesn't make any difference because it's quite bouncy. So at distance, a little movement is a lot. So you can get on target quite nicely. Like I say, you can't... You can get stuck in as a brawl. If, uh, yeah, friends. Oh, look at that, IS 6. Straight at the low glaciers, bouncing. Every time. It's from behind, though. The IS, IS 2 behind it, we can take up quite nicely. Stay there, come on, stay there. Don't move. Come on, don't move. Smile. Thank you. First kill of the game. Thank you very much. Why is Settler staring at me? What I don't know. So I can bounce shells all day long from this distance, not a problem, and dish it out back. Now there's a tank sitting there, look, behind that tree. Can I have a little shot? Nothing, nothing, sorry, missed it. He's moved. Thinking hacker, that's what it is, it's a hacker, yeah. Dodgy trees. No, but like I say, this is definitely a long distance tank. If you walk with way of tactics, then that's all it is, keep your distance. Because your reload time doesn't allow you to fire more than one shot in a brawling situation. You can't get the gun on target. 
and it bounces around like a loony, it's swaying all over the place, it's slow to manoeuvre. And I have done it a couple of times, got in a bit of a tough, you know, tough with. There he is, go on. Come on, come on, see the little sod. There's, oh, that bit of tree. He's there. I think he's backed off again, there's a big rock there. Yeah, he's not there. Worth a shot. It's a 244 100 there. Here he comes again, look. Git. Tree's finally down, I can't reload. That's it. Look for me. Look for me. Thank you. That's actually a T32. The T4100 got the kill on the tank down the bottom there. Got him confused. T32 down there. Nice little shot. Another dangerous tank out of the way. For our second kill. Now, of course, you've got to be patient with this tank. Wait for them targets to appear. Don't be in a hurry to move because it doesn't move very fast. So once you're out of position, it's very hard to get back in position again. It takes a while. This tank is slow as hell. Where are they? Now we can hear they're over at C. They've taken C. We have one guy between us and them. So I'm guaranteed. There you go. Shots over there. Look, see him kind of the ridge. Can't get a shot on him. See what I mean? Of getting out of position, trying to get in position. Very slow. You've got to predict where you want to be about 30 seconds before you've got to be there. Just to get settled down, get their gun nicely settled. Ready to shoot. And don't forget, don't bloody miss. If you miss, you've got 22 seconds, or was it 19 seconds to reload it. Which is a long time, War Thunder. A lot can happen in that time. I can't see him. They're over there somewhere. Luckily we've got a few friends around us. There you go, ping on the map, here he comes. Coming on the side of that rock. Now I'm going to pre-aim over here somewhere. Did he just die? No, he didn't die. Move up. Use this rock as cover. Cover my lower glaciers as you can. Always a good idea. Come on, move up. Get greedy. Where are you? Come on. You know you want to move up. Crap, they've got A. Here we go. T62 down. Nice. Third kill. Didn't even see me. Like a ninja. Ninja egg target. There's another tank there. Look. So I'm not going to push around after him though. Because I'm going to show my side to the other guys in the C point. And that means I'm dead. So. Hopefully they'll come to us. They're getting all the points at the minute. We've got all three points. But. That's not your worry in the Yag Tiger. Your job is not to capture the points. Your, uh... oh, nothing there. your job is to knock out other tanks. You're a tank destroyer. Damn it! What a way you'd have put a... taken that guy straight out, no problem. Oh, come on. Reload, reload, reload. I've got such a good shot. Go through the front, through the front, through the front. Go on. And boom! Oh, nice! <laughs> M46 down, straight for the front, fourth kill. Yes, so a lot the further down as you can see here, your job is not to go capturing points and win the game like that, your job is to whittle the enemy down so that medium and the heavy tanks and the light tanks and all that, more manoeuvrable tanks, can go capture the points. Of course, if you get the opportunity, help yourself, get stuck in. If the enemy is pushed right back, unlike this match, then uh, yeah, get stuck in. And you can also then uh, uh, capture the points. Right, that's pretty clear, that blank. So I'm re manoeuvring to cover the B point again, where it was before. Because that's where they're spawning from over the back there. Come on. Right, as you can see, I'm not the most manoeuvrable tank in the world. Just get them in. Look at that. See, just such a slug. It's not big and moving a brick round, isn't it? Come on. Get that gun on target. Right, let's find a target. Oh, the capturing B. Can we get a. T Hello? 
Under that tree, look, under the tree. Oh, God, get the gun on top. There he is. Nice. Another top, 62 down. That's five kills. Nice. So, that'll be an ace match. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be a Jumonkey video without an ace match in there, no. Finally got it though. Did take me a while to get one in a Yag Tiger. Tell you the truth, but uh, uh, it's not the easiest thing to get in a Yag Tiger. I'm, I'm not even talking you guys. I've got 10 kill matches, 12 kill matches, whatever you get. You shovel gits. But yeah. Oh, hello. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, don't, don't see me. Don't see me. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. He's seen me. He's definitely seen me. I'll oh, sort it. Go on, have that. Oh, you bugger. Oh, bugger. Damn it. See what I mean? Panic the shop. Bounce it. Puts it straight from the lower glaciers. Takes it on transmission. Here we go again. The driver's gone. Oh, dear. He's got the perfect angle on me as well, look. Because he's going to shoot into the lower glaciers all the time. Hit me again, go on. 26 seconds to repair. Oh, he, he missed it. Went to the upper glaciers, look. Bounced it. That was silly. Come on. 16 seconds to go. Ooh. Sounds like a Horton to me. Come on, Horton, get him. Damn it, missed him. <laughs> Just my luck. Four seconds to go. Please, please. Oh, you're having a giggle. Oh, yeah, six, look. Troll armor. Bounced it. And it oh, one shot to me, no problem, though. So we're going to carry the match on. Good old 262 A1, I do believe. Oh, I do like this plane. Armed with two 30mm cannons, battering a 6.7. What, two bombs on it now? It's a good little plane, if flown properly. We're going to head to head with this chap. Come on, have some of this, you get hits. Got a kill. Died instantly. <laughs> I don't care. Panther 2. Quickly respawn into this chap. And shot to the side. What the hell hit me? Straight away spawn camping. M19. Never that, you bugger. Straight for the side of me. Outstate. Oh, M42, sorry. M42. My mistake. Outstate is welcome. Paid for it. He should have moved earlier. Only thing with former AAA vehicles. No when to bugger off. Yes. Oh, hello. What's this? I have six. Oh, crap. Oh, my dose. Look, I've like just bounced him again. If you don't get the shot just right on the I have six from the front, you won't do nothing to him. He'll just bounce it all day long. And he's 6.7. And every other bugger, the ones that I have six, there's, oh, we're well, so not overpowered. Yes, it is. It is so overpowered. We repair the tank a little bit. Here he comes. Look, I can't do nothing against this guy. Yep. One shots me all day long. Google Blitz, hello. Have that, have that. T54. Yeah, so it's posted on. I want to get his gun ready. Ever his cannon. And I've already had a overheat my guns. Damn it. <laughs> now he hits me. I'm on fire. I'm on fire again. Come on. Inevitable, really. Right, at the two. And donk that shot. What I'll shoot him there for, I don't know. Here would be a much better place to shoot him. It's going to kill him. Right there would be nice. Come on. There we go. There be the kitty. 254 down. Eight kills. Not bad. I'll take that. Gonna lose the match badly, by the looks of it, but. Go down fighting. That's what you gotta do. Go down, never give up. Keep swinging. Remember all them shots you take, all the extra kills, you might lose, but all RP and silver lines. Another oh, IS bloody six by the looks of it. Nothing I'll do with this. Go out, go on. And see me. Undamaged again, look. Use the APCR rounds on him. Ah, third place in the team though, seven ground kills, one air kill, four devs. <laughs> but I did get the Jack Tiger's ace kill. Ace match, sorry. 
Right, to the scoreboard. What do we get? Not bad, 35,000 silver lines. Bit more Diego Panzer Porter at 5. And we've got Avenger. Tank Risk times 3. Eye for an eye times 2. Professional times 4. Show Shot Shot times 6. And One Shot times 2. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think of the Ag Tiger. Have you got it? Do you like it? I like it, just a bit slow. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.